Well, welcome back. This week we received a press release that really got to us. Many of you are aware of the subject of bullying. It receives national attention, but this press release we got drilled down locally for us. So we contacted the people behind a film that was made, and we wanted them to come in and talk to us and talk to you about this very sensitive and very important subject. So joining me today, it's Tarina Parker and Brittany Stearns. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having us. Oh, you're welcome. So Tarina, uh, give me a little background on this subject. Uh, well, anti-bullying is uh, a subject that we've been passionate about in our program. And really our goal has been to heighten our students' awareness of the issue and also to empower our students um, to take a stand against bullying. Yeah. And That's so uh, October was National Anti-Bullying Month right. and uh, we decided to embark on this video project to really mobilize our school community um, around the issue of bullying. I really commend you for this. And Brittany, how are you involved? Um, I have been bullied in the past so I know how it's felt, how it is to yes. be bullied. Sure, to experience it personally. Yes. And that affects you on a number of different levels, as we know, because it isn't just the verbal abuse, it's the emotional, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And how that affects you? Um, it's very, it gives you a lot of emotions because you can feel like an outcast or it depends what your situation is. Yes, I'm sure it does. So when you decided to do a film, what was the background on that? Why a film? Uh, well. In September, uh, we had a school-wide presentation from Coach Rich Johns, who mm -hmm. uh, participated in an Act With Respect Always participa uh, presentation for our school community. And during that presentation, he showed us a video uh, that another school had done uh, where they essentially held up messages um, of anti-bullying. And so some of our social workers got together, two in particular, and they thought this would be a really good idea for our school to engage in a similar project and really to focus on empowering our students around um, anti-bullying. You know, it's a message, it's a word you've used a, a few times, and before we went on air tonight, we were discussing that you could approach this from one of two ways. You could approach it by seeing kids being shoved and all the other sort of things that are affiliated with bullying, or you could also send the message out that be empowered. Mm -hmm. You know, if you see this taking place, you can step up. You know, and that's an important thing for, I think, for kids to learn, especially in your age group. When you're trying to find your way, you're not exactly sure who you are yet. You know, someone's bullying you and it's taking away your self-esteem and your self-confidence. So stand up if you see it. And I noticed that in the film that it took the side of empowerment. Uh, and the technique was very interesting. Where did that come from? Um, well, our counselors, as they were producing the video, um, they decided to really put... Um, a feel to our space and what students uh, engage in every day and so if you'll notice in our video there are shots on the school bus, there are shots in the classroom, um, there are shots on the playground and during recreational time and so there are shots in my office you know as students are right. working with me and we really wanted uh, to get the message across that bullying can happen anywhere and also the title of our video is Tell Me and yes, you right. know our overarching theme is that there's always an adult available um, we work really hard to create a really safe environment for our students, a trusting mm -hmm. environment, mm -hmm. and it's important for students to know that if they witness bullying happening, that they have to tell someone so that we can help. Got it. So, Brittany, give me just a short version. It, uh, how did it affect you? Um, it affected me in many ways. I went from being felt like I was not wanted to isolating myself from everybody because I felt like Everybody was just targeting me because in most of my situations, I was a new kid in the school. Right. So they just went trigger. after me. Right, of course. Yeah, kids being kids, that's what they would do. You were the yeah. new kid on the block, right? Mm -hmm. How did you overcome it? Um, I had lots of support from my friends, my actual friends that I've had, and family. And I've had workers that have helped me overcome my fears. Right. Got you. You know, in the film itself, when they were defining it, it was very interesting. They went for discrimination, intimidation, and harassment. Mm -hmm. And think about how many different forms any one of those three could take in damaging someone's, like we were saying, self-confidence and self-esteem. And one of the things that we were discussing before we went on air, that uh, talk about, you, you were calling it cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. That seems to have a particularly 
Oh, damaging effect, yes. right? Um, it can happen on any social networking website. Right. Like, they will, people have made fake accounts and just like comment on your status and like put you down. Right. Your self esteem has gone down because of what they have said. You know, I was just reading a book recently about this, and they were saying that you can say 10 things to somebody that are positive. You say one thing negative to you them, that's the thing that, they, that, it, that one thing could, could bring it down. Um, some things that you would advise our viewers or fellow students if they are being bullied. Um, always tell an adult, and you really don't need to listen to them because, like, you're yourself, so you shouldn't have to have people make you change for your differences and bully you for how you are. That's true, because who you are is the most valuable thing in the world, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes very hard to believe. It, yeah. At any age, Brittany, trust me, at any age that is. But I really uh, commend you. You're brave. And apparently you got past it. Thank you. So your advice to anyone that is being bullied, go to an adult. Mm -hmm. Let them know. Get a support system, I think is what you're saying, yes. right? Yes. Because they're out there. Yes. You have, you have many people around you, and you, at first I did not notice that I had these people, and I, now I know I have these people around me. That's great. Well, I want to thank you both for coming in. Now, there's a press conference today that we're covering, and uh, you'll check our schedule. The film is six minutes long. Right. Uh, very definitely worth watching, and we're going to run it in and out of our schedule here, especially over the weekend. And uh, if they have any further questions, uh, contact information? Absolutely. Um, we're at the Washington Saratoga Warren Hamilton Essex BOCES uh, at the Southern Adirondack Education Center. That's easy for you to say. You want to say that <laughs> one more time? <laughs> one more time with that. Washington Saratoga Warren Hamilton Essex BOCES, okay. Southern Adirondack Education Center. Well, that's great. Well, thank you, and really, thank you both for doing thank this. You. It's a wonderful service to the community. And uh, if you're a Someone out there who happens to be bullied, make sure you go. Seek help. Get an adult. Get a support system, right? Good. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. To see this interview again, head to our website, looktvonline.com.